Oh, yes, the grind is about to start. As you know, NBA 2K23 has launched, and we're all excited. Our headsets are on, our phones are on Do Not Disturb, and the game chat is locked in. We're ready to do our best this season by increasing our competitive edge with improved play, character builds, and, of course, our offensive and defensive movements have gotten a lot more fluid since last season. Speaking of doing my best, as a longtime player, I know the value of looking my best before getting into the game. Phillips and Ronco One Blade is my go-to electric shaver and trimmer. Dual-sided blade precisely shapes my edges and the lines around my beard to the frame of my face. I have a full, thick beard that grows oh so long, so I also love its fast-moving cutter. Phillips and Ronco One Blade is versatile enough to give you a beard trim, a clean shave, or any other style you want before you face scan and set up your appearance for the season. Go to Phillips.com for more information about Phillips and Ronco One Blade and other grooming products. Now, let's get to the review. All right, maybe I'm an old head, but I thought last year's game at a certain point got way too hyperactive. I love the slow down pace of NBA 2K23. It just feels a little bit more realistic and a little bit easier to play defense. And I think it also helps frame rates and all that kind of stuff just feel a lot more fluid than last year, which at some point felt like I was running around of Fortnite. Speaking of slowing the pace down, NBA 2K23 added a new feature called Adrenaline Boost to kind of, you know, counteract uh, some of the crazy stuff last year that you just couldn't keep up with some of these guards. Now, one of the things I, I don't like about it is that someone like Steph Curry maybe has like the same amount of Adrenaline Boost as someone like Jokic, who maybe is not a ball handler. We'll see if they end up addressing that in a later patch if the better the ball handler, the more Adrenaline Boost. I love this idea of adding extra kind of resources. You know, I play a lot of games, not just sports games. So the fact that you kind of have to like limit your resources, not only just your stamina bar, or your turbo bar, but now these adrenaline boosts, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think this will cut down a lot of just people left riding, spamming moves. Um, and maybe even when you get into your my player and you're playing on 2K or you're playing against the AI just in general, maybe you'll feel like things are a little bit realistic. But I go back to, hey, I don't want to see a 6'1 person and a 7 footer having the same adrenaline boost. Hopefully that will change, but that's a little thing. Uh, I think the new adrenaline boost is absolutely brilliant. And isn't this where the modern NBA is gone? You know, fast movements, quick movements, quick burst. Um, you know, those who got the speeds, uh, you just don't want to see people running around like, uh, you know, like a chicken with their heads cut off or something like that out there on the court. So I think it fits very well with the game and I think it fits very well with sort of the modern era of the NBA. But also being an old head, I love these eras. Uh, you know, we've been doing this on PC for a while, having all these historic teams. Certainly they've had it on consoles as well. I love the streaming content where you see, you know, uh, the great Bulls teams playing great Warriors teams or Lakers and Celtics of uh, years gone by. So I love that this is kind of like official mode now into the game where you got the 80s, the 90s, 2000s. You got, you know, Magic and Bird. You got Jordan. You got Kobe. And then all the great players that we have currently in the NBA. And, you know, people have that argument. Hey, how would Steph Curry uh, fare in the 80s NBA where Bill Ambeer and all these guys are knocking you around with those bad boy Pistons? Hey, now we can find out. And, of course, with it being NBA 2K23, the 23rd edition of this game, how can you not have the Michael Jordan challenges come back? We haven't seen them since 2K11. This time we have double digit challenges 15 in fact that you can play through all these great moments in the history of uh, jordan's career and i think it's finally pretty clear that the what i've been saying all along the greatest player to ever play basketball is michael jordan lebron's not even close let's save that for another video but i love the presentation of all these eras in the gameplay um the arenas the jerseys the players i think that fits all in to what you love when you're playing a basketball game. And that's really the problem with NBA 2K23 in the years gone by. There's so many different modes. I get caught in my player, you know, trying to get uh, to level 40 on my seasons, playing my team, franchises, playing against people. 
it's hard to get everything in. It's hard to choose, especially if you play multiple video games. It's hard. This content is everywhere. And you talk about uh, something like my team and my player, the content's constantly growing and constantly changing. Of course, you know, I love my Pro-Am. I love my NBA 2K League and all the cool contests that you can do inside the city. Another thing as an old head that I love is just the younger players, uh, you know, get to see um, some of the storytelling. <laughs> you know, they could sit here and like, back in my day, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, Jordan, I was there when he put up blah, blah, blah. You know, how many people were in the garden that day uh, when he put all those points up against the Celtics and Larry Bird and that great team in 1986? Uh, I think the, uh, the arena probably sits 25,000, but apparently like 100,000 people were there. Now, I did get see them score a lot of points against the Hawks. Uh, that was a short drive from my house as a youngster. But it's kind of cool, this storytelling of, you know, Wilt versus Bill Russell, rest in peace. You know, how would Kobe and Jordan face off if they were in their primes? Um, that's the kind of things you like to see. And hey, we'll throw LeBron in there. I think LeBron is somebody that could have been good in any era. Um, Giannis, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is cool um, as sort of like almost a love story to the game of basketball. And that's what I love so much about this game so far. In conclusion, let's be honest with each other. <laughs> no sports game is ever perfect, even the games that we love the most. Uh, it's just how it is. A year over year, short cycles, consoles change all that kind of stuff. I'd love in the future to see some sort of subscription model uh, instead of a re-release every year that you pay a certain monthly fee or something like that. And they just improve on what they got. You're kind of year round. Um, nevertheless, though, I think it's a great stride on NBA 2K23. I think they listen to the community a lot. I think the game's gotten better. I think it's worth it. And hey, if you get on a grind and it's too much of a grind, try these other modes, man. Try playing some eras, try doing some Jordan challenges. There's plenty Plenty of things to do in NBA 2K23. Pick it up today.